Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mary. Subscribe down below. Also follow me on Insta. It is linked down below. So today, we're talking favorites, baby, because ever since I got back from Australia, I don't even know. I did like my 2019 favorites, but I haven't done a recent favorites video, and I just feel like I have so many things that I'm loving that I literally haven't talked about on this channel, so I need to update you guys because these are amazing products. I'm literally so obsessed. Um, and yeah, I hope that you guys will be too because then we can all be twinning and it's just a great thing. So honestly, I'm gonna kind of do it in like a little bit of a random order. I'm just gonna go down my list for the most part. So yeah, let's just get right on into it. Okay, so the first one is, you guys know, I love the brand Occur and I didn't think that they could do any better than they were doing. Then I tried this body lotion. Oh my God, it's amazing. I'm not even kidding you. It's their brightening glow lotion. So it's literally the same line, their brightening line that I use on my face as well. And this is seriously so good. It's like, I need to like show you guys like the consistency. It's like thick enough so that you still feel like you're getting like good moisture, but it's also thin enough so that it's not like, like you know some where you feel like you're wearing a coat and it's just sticky and gross? This one's not like that. It's so luxurious. It literally, oh my God, I just absolutely love it. You guys need to try it. And it's literally like a really great price too. I think it's like $8 or something. Um, amazing. And it is vegan, like paraben free, sulfate free, mineral oil free, literally like everything free. It's literally like, it's so good. And it smells like sweet orange and oatmeal which seems weird, but it's just like a really subtle fragrance so that you can still wear it with a perfume and you're not gonna like, I hate like mixing fragrances like that and I don't feel that way with this one. I really, really love it. So 10 out of 10 recommend. They have it at Whole Foods, they have it on Amazon, they have it at Target, I'll link it down below. It's seriously the best stuff ever. The next thing is kind of a like, kitchen household item as well and like toiletry but it's um the method hand wash i'm like obsessed with this stuff i used the um mrs myers for a really long time and then i like found out that they low-key put a bunch of shit in their stuff and don't put it on the ingredient list thank you limo for telling me that um so yeah not using that anymore but this one is the scent time and I just really like it because it's, first of all, it's so clean. Second of all, it smells so clean. Like it just makes your hands feel so clean when you use it. I don't know how to describe it, but I love it. I just, I absolutely love it. So get the Method Hand Wash. My favorite scent is thyme. And it's just, it's fresh. It's like a little bit sweet. And it's just honestly, overall, very, very clean. Okay, next on like the toiletries apothecary trend is this essential oil. It is by our Acacia and it is Love Potion. And I don't have the lid on it right now because I lost the lid, but it's fine because I literally just put it in my diffuser all the time. Oh my God, it smells so good. And it's jasmine and sandalwood, but it's like almost sweet. I think there might be some orange in it too. Lemon, orange cardamom sandalwood patchouli yang yang or lang lang um jasmine it's seriously so good i think you guys will love it get it put it in your diffuser and think of me when you do it it's just very i don't know i was at a yoga class like three weeks ago and my mom actually like had it on or had it going in the diffuser and i was like what is that and then i ended up stealing it because it smells so good oh so I'm literally obsessed. Usually I like to like make my own blends to put in, but that is a great blend. Very spring-esque, like so good. Next is this bad boy. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench um, Cloud Mask. This thing is amazing, especially if you are suffering with dry skin right now, because I feel like everyone is, it's just gross out, unless you live in like Cali, Cali, <laughs> California. Um, 
but this is so hydrating but it doesn't leave your face feeling oily and like you still have like it's it doesn't just leave you know what i mean where like some masks will leave your face and you feel like you have like a coat of like oil and then you break out because of it not like this at all um and it also like when you put it on it's clear and then it bubbles up and like it's all sudsy on your face and it feels really weird and cool and kind of like rejuvenating um i really really like it it left my face feeling moisturized and like bright honestly my skin just looked very very like alive after and i love that so the ptr water drench bubbling cloud mask is my fave right now i'm like i breach it for it all the time next is and i was okay i was on the bum bum trend for a while then i got off of it and started using laneige and like didn't really use bum bum anymore um i don't love the bum bum body stuff like body butter because i feel like it is a little bit overpowering the scent and then you can't wear it with perfume or else you just smell like a gas station bathroom kind of i don't know um so i personally was never on that trend but i do love the lip butter and i just like i think i just ran out of it and then i just never bought more but seriously i got it when i was at sephora like maybe a few weeks ago or a month ago and i've been reaching for it non-stop it smells so good it's so light on your lips. It's like a chapstick, you know what I mean? Like the Laneige is more of a lip mask or a lip gloss. Not even a lip gloss, but you know, like a sheen. This is just a chapstick and it's so good. And I love how thick it is because you can really just get it on your whole lip. And it smells heavenly. I've never smelled anything that smells this good. Seriously, I'm obsessed. So get it, they have it at Sephora. I'll link it down below. Okay. Then another lip product, I'm loving the, I've never really been a Fenty beauty gal, but I also like don't really wear makeup. So that's just not really a thing for me. But I was in Sephora and I was like, honestly, let's look at the Fenty stuff. I love Rihanna, so maybe I'll like her makeup. And the one makeup product that I love is lip gloss. And I'm also very particular about it. And I have to have like this like specific shade works perfectly on me. There's one by Marc Jacobs that's like this too. But I also don't want it to be a goopy lip gloss because the worst thing ever is if you go out on a date and you're wearing lip gloss and the guy kisses you and he has like goopy lip gloss on his lips, like imagine being a guy, that would suck. So, we want a nice, silky, silky lip gloss. And that's what this Fenty one is. It is in the um, color Fussy, and it's the Gloss Balm. So good. I'm obsessed. It's my new fave. And it's also, I feel like it was it was $19, and the Marc Jacobs one, it is a little bit bigger, but it's also, like, I think it might be 35 or something like that, which I feel like is just absurd. You know what I mean? I just... I don't see the point in spending that kind of cashola on a lip gloss when I can get the Fenty one. Last apothecary item is this candle. I'm loving it. It's, I got it from TJ Maxx. It's by the brand Sensational and it's in the flavor Storm. And I can't like do that, yeah. And the reason I love it so much is, okay, first of all, I love Excuse me, I need to trim these wicks. I haven't lit it again yet, but um, I love the three wick action. I just love that because it just, I feel like it fills your place with a great scent quicker. Like, of course it does. Um, and it smells like the Capri Blue Volcano candle, but it was $13 and that one is like 60. So I love it. I'll definitely be going and getting it again when that one ends, ends, when I finish that one. And it's just great to have in your pad. I love either having my essential oil diffuser going or my candle going. And it just makes you feel so homey and smell so good. And I'm just really, really loving it. So it's the sensation or sensational storm candle. Really good stuff. 
Okay, next, I wanna make sure I hit all of these that's on my list, so that's why I'm looking down. But next is my Nespresso. I held off getting a Nespresso for a while. Honestly, I actually got one and then sent it back before I like used it or anything, because I was like, I don't need this. But I'm so glad I got one because I just like, I don't know, I want, I, especially being in Australia, I drank a ton of hot coffee. Like I drink a lot of Americanos and that's basically what Nespresso does. So getting back, I was just like, honestly, I really want an Nespresso, but I don't know if I want to buy it, but blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, honestly, cost benefits. Like I'm going and getting hot coffee at least three times a week. Like the Nespresso will pay for itself. So I got it. I'm loving it. It's awesome. I got the, I'm not gonna show it to you guys cause it's like over there and I'm not gonna bring it over here. Yeah. But I'll link it down below. Got it on Amazon. It's like the Nespresso Virt Virtuo, maybe? I don't know, I'll link it down below. And I just, I love, first of all, it makes your coffee frothy without even putting any milk in it. And I just think that the espresso, at least the one that I've tried so far, I did, I have like the sample pack right now, but I'll tell you guys what my favorite one is when I like decide and stick with it for a while. Um, but I don't think they're, they're espresso. It doesn't hit, cause like how you want espresso to hit is you want it to hit in the middle of your palate. And I find that sometimes if a shot's pulled by like a person, it's either it, it can be really bitter and hit on the front of the tongue or it can be bitter also, but hit in the back of the mouth. And you really want that. I used to be a barista, so that's why I know this. But you really want the shot to like hit like really in the middle of your tongue basically and give you like a nice, almost nutty, but just like a coffee flavor. And I find that Nespresso does, does that. So I really like it. And I'm just kind of digging it as of now. And then I just, I still like my my white milk frother better though. I, cause mine came with a milk frother, my Nespresso. And I used the Nespresso milk frother for a few days. And then I was like, what the fuck? This is like not good. So maybe I'll like sell that milk frother. I don't know, but the white one is better. So the white one's cheaper and the white one's better. So go for the white Amazon milk frother. End of story. Next is my water bottle. I love this water bottle. It's from the brand, fuck, I don't know. Apana, A-P-A-N-A. -A -A. I got it at TJ Maxx for like $14, but it looks like the beaker ones. And my mom has a beaker one and I've used hers before and I liked it, but I was just like, I don't wanna buy that because like, I don't know. I don't like spending a ton of money on water bottles and because I lose them and they get gross and you know what I mean? So this one's amazing. I love that it has the sippy lid. I love that it has like this cover so that your hands don't get all like, um, if you have cold water in it, it doesn't get as uh, like slick. Um, I just think it's very fashionable, almost chic. I think it's way more chic than a Hydro Flask, to be completely honest. It holds a liter, which I love. And I love the shape of it because it fits in my backpack. And my other one was too long too. It was like long and thin. Not a long and thin water bottle type of gal. So I'm into this one. Um, and you can find it at TJ Maxx for like $15. I 10 out of 10 recommend. Love it. Next is my skincare fridge. People, this thing changed my life. I'm not even kidding you. So here's the deal with the skincare fridge. I bought it. You know what, fuck it, we're going to see it. But I bought it over the summer when Amazon had Prime Day because I got it for a really good deal. I was like, fine, like I'll buy this. Like I've been wanting it. It's the most absurd thing ever. But I kid you not, it's literally amazing. Okay. So, it's by the brand Kululi. I don't know. And then you open it, and I have some masks and my Laneige like on the top shelf. And then, bottom shelf is just like my everyday skincare. And then, I have some masks here, some uh, like a M61 Power Spot mask. So basically like a spot cream, like for zits. And then just uh, another eye cream. 
seriously, honestly, I can't really speak to like my skin's clearly, this is it, but it's fine. Um, my skin, I wouldn't say is like better or worse because of it. I would say that it just feels so good. And I know that doesn't seem like enough of a reason, but to me it is. It literally feels amazing, especially if you put on a mask. And I feel like it is very anti-inflammatory because like when you, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I just know that I really love the way it makes me feel. Actually, oh my God, I have a hilarious story about, so my mom one time went to this, oh my God, this is so fucking funny. So she went to this guy who was a masseuse, okay? And then after he was like, I'm gonna keep this short because this video is getting long, but after he was like, do you care if I practice hypnosis on you? Like I've been working on it or whatever, okay? So he's, she's like, sure, fine. Cause my mom's just like, whatever. Like she's fine with that. And so he like, brings her under he like thinks that my mom is hypnotized and he's like fall into a deep deep trance or whatever my mom's like yeah okay whatever and but my mom is like laying there like pretending because <laughs> she does that i guess and then this guy goes now tell me you love the way i make you feel <laughs> and my mom <laughs> just pretends to be asleep she's just like but trying to hold back laughter like what the fuck and then he proceeds to say it again tell me you love the way i make you feel <laughs> what like what the fuck what sort of perverted creeper is this guy anyways long story short my mom never went back to him and it was just like so fucking weird and then my mom was talking to a lady about it and she was like maureen he did the same like this guy was a fucking creeper anyways moving on but hilarious anyways one for the books <laughs> um next is oh my god do i have it over here hold that up. yes i do have two coffees going on right now but i don't think i'm gonna finish this one or i'm not gonna finish this one this one's decaf but i honestly just wanted to show the coffee because i was like oh well, i'm showing my nespresso so anyways but next is my Keep Cup. Got this in Oz. I love it. I love the size of it. I got the large one. And I believe it holds 16 ounces, which is a grande at Starbucks. And I, I really like it just because I find that it keeps drinks cold. And because the inside is glass, but the outside is plastic, which I think is actually a really smart like design, honestly. Um, and then I love just... I love the size of the lid. I know that seems weird too. Um, not even the size of the lid, just the size of like the hole that you can drink out of. And I just think it's cute and it reminds me of Australia and I'll link them down below. They're actually, if you're gonna get a reusable cup though, I would say Keep Cups are the best one to get. They hold up so well and they're overall just like really, really awesome. Next is a food item and it's mixed greens, which is random. But I have been loving with dinner making a salad with just like organic mixed greens, which you can get literally anywhere. And then just a little olive oil, salt, pepper, nutritional yeast, and some red pepper flakes. Seriously so good. You guys will love it. And honestly, sometimes what I'll do is just get like a small like box of the mixed greens and then just do like olive oil, salt, pepper, red pepper flake, nutritional yeast, and then just shake the box. And it's seriously so good. You could top it with like a piece of salmon or top it with like chickpeas if you're plant-based and a few more like sauteed veggies, some roasted sweet potato wedges. Like it's seriously so good and so fresh and just like a great like way to get some raw veg in in these winter months. Seriously obsessed with them right now. Like every night I'm making a mixed green salad. I don't know what it is because I used to hate mixed greens. Um, next is an artist. I'm on the rust train so hard. I don't know what it is. Like right now I'm even, I even have a rust song stuck in my head. But Blake has been on the rust train for a while. And like, especially when we first started dating, he would always play it when we were at his place. And I was always like, oh, like 
he like Russ and he was like yeah I fucking love Russ or whatever he didn't say that but no he really loves Russ and I've just never really vibed with Russ and then maybe like a week or two ago something switched <laughs> I'm obsessed with Russ he's so good he's so underrated and I kid you not Russ is gonna be 10 times more famous than he is right now in two years like this guy he's good his music is really vibey it's low-key rap so you're not like this is gonna give me an aneurysm while you're listening to it it's just kind of like i was talking to blake like it is a really really like he his music is malleable like you can listen to it while you work out you can listen to it while you drive it's great hookup music it's great like in your apartment cooking music it's great walking to class music like really you can listen to it anywhere so i'm just saying i think ross rocks i really like nighttime and what other one do i like mm, hold on he's literally like top best on earth is good that's might be like the dirtiest song i've ever heard and the thing is blake and i were talking about this last night too is it's dirty in the way where it's just like really really up front like there are other songs that are dirty but they're just like kind of low-key about it but best on earth like he's just like really fucking straight up with it um and then like the classics like psycho is good civil war is good like he muy bueno muy bien Anyways, I haven't taken Spanish since high school. Um, Molte bene, that's Italian. Anyways, um, then next is actually a book. And honestly, if you ignore all of my book recommendations, that's okay. I don't really fucking care. But you have to read this book. Seriously, if you have any interest, you guys know I'm to like a total woo-woo, like spirituality really gets me going. Like I just love that stuff. But this book, honestly, a lot of books changed my life, okay? Like a lot. But this book is insane and it made me think about things in such a different way. She's a psychic medium. Her name is Laura Lynn Jackson and the book is called signs i will link it down below all of this stuff will be linked down below um but i just so she's a psychic medium and she, basically in the story she like she tells a lot of stories on how the universe and how the other side which is like people who have crossed like present us with signs and how we can open ourselves up to receiving and seeing the signs that the universe provides us and honestly like going into that book first of all psychic mediums freaked me out second of all i like thought of signs like as in like a flickering candle or like flickering lights and things like that i thought about them in such a I was so afraid of them. I was like, fuck, like, oh my God, oh, I'm freaked out. This house is haunted, like things like that. And now after reading the book, I think about it in such a different way where like, I think that stuff is beautiful. And honestly, I just, I really would recommend this book. Seriously, guys, it's so well written. It's so engaging. I whipped through it in like three days. And even if you think that that stuff is like, fucking weird like i really think she does a good job of introducing it in a way where she doesn't like she's not a fucking freak you know she's really awesome and i love that book i read her that one and then i read her first one too the light between us but i would read signs first and then read the light between us honestly if you're gonna read them both um and then the next thing kind of goes off of that and it's a Netflix show. It's uh, the Goop Lab, which if you don't know, Goop is Gwyneth Paltrow's like health and wellness company basically. It's an amazing company and they did a show where they bring on different people. So like the first episode is actually with Laura Lynn Jackson. So honestly, maybe watch that episode. It's, it's like 40 minutes. And then if you're interested, you should totally read the book. Um, but they have, they, I think there's like seven episodes out, maybe five. And literally, I don't really watch shows, but this show is awesome and it educates you. It's really, really cool. They bring on just these wacky people that do things that actually work, like Laura Lynn Jackson. Um, 
they bring on this guy who does like insane cold therapy there's this guy who does energy work that's pretty wacky there's actually one on the female orgasm they're they're just really informative really educational really witty really awesome i really recommend it it's called the goop lab and it's a netflix tv show now for some fashion faves real quick um quickly i got yeezys i know i'm basic but i did get them i really like them i got the gray ones i will link these ones down below i don't remember what they're called but i really like them and honestly i wanted like a tan pair for a while and then i was like no like i'm gonna go for the gray and i'm so happy that i went for the gray because i actually think that like the gray and white is so much cuter and they literally go with everything and another favorite of mine is growl fits i don't know why i'm so into them they're comfy they're actually really cute like i made some pretty cute growl fits like going out to dinner and stuff and I, I'm just really, really into it. So honestly, the gray Yeezys, the grout fits, gray in general, it's a comfy color, but it's a cute color. So, mic drop, we're done with that. Next is my reunion beanie, which this is pretty specific because like, reunion is like a local brewery in Coralville. If you want one of these beanies, they sell them there. So go to Reunion Brewery and you can twin with me. They're so dope. And I just love it because first of all, I think it's cool. Hold on, I'm gonna like show you guys it on, but my hair is like gross because I just finished a workout, but okay, no, this looks so bad on. But anyways, it's, I really like it because it's, first of all, I just think it's a cute fashion item. I really think it's unique and I love the color, like the oatmeal. And I love how, like, how it fits. Honestly, it's not too big. So it's not like a beanie beanie, but it's not too small. So it like still covers your ears and it's a nice like knit fabric. So it's still, um, like it's still warm, but I just think it's really cute and I don't have anything else like it. And I've been picking this up so much lately and literally wearing it non-stop so if you live in iowa city go get yourself a reunion baby next and get food there while you're at it because it's really good um next is white booties i love these things i was kind of skeptical on them but i finally was just like you know what i'm gonna get a pair of white booties i only paid like these ones are by the brand Cupid. I'll link them down below if I can find them. But if not, I'll just link another pair of white booties that I think are cute. I got them on sale because I was like, I don't know if I like really like white booties that much. Like whatever. Um, but I've been picking them up so much. I think they're so cute. And just a really like cute, oh, cute staple um, for outfits. And like they're classic while still being a little bit like, whoa, just white booties, you know? Um, and these ones, what I love is that they have this tortoise shell little like hoop on it. I think that's so cute. I haven't seen any with this besides mine. And I just think it's a nice little touch onto the booty. Okay, two more things. Bear with me here. This. First of all, not even this sports bra, but okay, sorry, I took this out of the wash, but this color I think is so cute. It's like a, my phone case is the same color, but it's like a green slash blue. I'm obsessed with it. There's this Urban Outfitters sweatshirt that's so damn cute. I actually ordered it yesterday and it's in this color and I will link it down below because you guys should get it. It's seriously so cute i'm just obsessed with this color and this is lulu sports bra and it's like high necked and it's in this color and i've been picking this up a lot and i'll wear it with like army green leggings to work out and i think it's so cute so honestly just like this tealy ish green color is so cute next is a gym bag and i have been wanting a gym bag for a while but i didn't know what kind i wanted i was just like I just want something that I can throw all my stuff in and like have just to take to the gym. So I ended up getting this one from Lulu and I actually think it's so cute. It's just like a big long bag that has like a, I don't know what this is called, but I always keep it like that. 
And I just think it's so unique and so cute. And it's just black, has these long straps, has a pocket in it, but also I can just put all my stuff in. So, hello. So like I keep my resistance band in it and then I just have like this, which I just keep a bunch of like random ass stuff that I like to take to the gym in it, like toner, face wash, stuff like that. And then like a pair of sunglasses and then I can just put all of my stuff in it and I just really like it and it's really awesome. So I'll link that down below too. It's also a really nice, a really good price. It's like 50 bucks. So yeah. Those are all of my current faves right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too lengthy. Um, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button below. Also follow me on Insta. It is linked down below. And I will also link like all of this stuff down below so you guys can um, totally check it out and get what you want and stuff like that. So seriously, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time for my next bit.